at the age of 33, she was full of life. And at her prime, suddenly, they took this lovely young woman. To many, this is an untimely death. In the sense that it catches us unprepared and overcomes us with grief. This is no doubt true. But I ask myself, what is this untimely death? What do we use to define an untimely death? Is it measured by age that we spent on earth? Or our accomplishments in terms of wealth? What makes death to be untimely? It's common knowledge that nothing takes God by surprise. To put it clearly, no human death, whether young or old, in the eyes of God, is a surprise or untimely. Because he is fully in charge. Our days are determined by God. But this term, untimely, I would, rather, I would rather prefer the word unexpected death rather than untimely. They look similar, but they are different. The most important factor in examining how well a life is spent is not on the age. Some regard untimely death as being as dying before 70 years or 100 years. But that is totally wrong. The most important factor in examining how well a life is spent is not on the age. One can live a thousand years and yet not fulfill the purpose God wants for his or her life. One can also spend as little as 20 years and at that time done more than what an aged man of about 150 years has done. Before he formed you in the belly, he knew you. And before you came out of the womb, God had a purpose for you. Dying without fulfilling this purpose is what is bad. And it's not about emphasizing on the age one dies. After living once number of days on earth, God can decide to add some days extra, probably because of the lives that are connected to the person that he or she has affected. Example is Dockers, or you call him Tabitha, who had already fulfilled her days and died. But she was brought back to life because of the lives she has affected. It wasn't about her, but it was because of the lives that she has affected. The people she sold clothes for, the people she, she made clothes for, the arms that she did to those persons. Secondly was Ezekiah. Ezekiah was given 15 years extra after I reminded God of how he walked before him in truth and with a perfect heart and have done what is good in his sight. A life lived short with fully, with fully achieving God's purpose is far better than a life lived long. A life lived short with fully achieving God's purpose it's far better than a life lived long without fully achieving God's plan. The fundamental question is, are you doing what God wants you to do? Which is to do, do, which is to do good works and affect lives positively, not negatively. If you are not, kindly retrace your steps 
Turn to Jesus now. Give him your heart and make this simple prayer. Father, please forgive me. Come into my heart and save me. And I'm ready to turn a new leaf. If you have made that prayer, you are blessed in Jesus' name. No death is untimely. But to you and human, it can be unexpected. So be ready at any time to make to meet your maker. Thanks and be blessed. Please kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos that will change your life. And please share this video with friends so that their lives can also be affected. And also, finally, please like the video and leave a comment. Thank you and be blessed.